Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue to speak about mess I mean the mess with adaptive components as you see I did this curtain with the some adaptive component uh, I did it uh, like a bit fast and as you see I get here the some problem but we will do without this the problem as you see we can uh, get kind of shape without any external things like Rhino like the some uh, plugins so uh, I think this is uh, enough for introduction and now I will show you how you can do this thing. So and first thing I need to create a new project. I will close this one because uh, today we will create so many adaptive components. So I will close it. I will close this one too and this one too. Okay so now we get our blank project and we will start from the model. Let's go to the family and we will find first metric generic uh, adaptive, uh, what is it? Metric generic adaptive model. Here it is. Let's open up and here we are. What we're gonna do now? Uh, we should create our base point. So I will choose the reference line and I will uh, select the point element and let's uh, put it somewhere. You can put it anywhere in this project, but I prefer on the middle of this project. So after that, just select your this point and change it to adaptive, make it adaptive. Let's do it. And as you see now, it's number one and we have some like reference lines. This is what I want. So the next thing I will go to the model under draw panel and I will choose the rectangular one. And now we will choose the set the plane and let's uh, set this plane, for example, like this. Why not? Now I will draw something doesn't matter like this. I know this is will be on the same position uh, like my set, uh, my like my uh, working plane, as you see, right? So what the next we will do? I will use the command align, and I will align to this the work plane like this, and I will lock it. Don't forget lock it. Now I will use command di so dimension, and I will do it from this line. Now I will do from that line, that line and that and I will do it equal and I need overall line like this. So we did it. Next thing we need to create some labels. Let's create the labels. I mean the parameters. For that one parameters as you already know it will be W and don't forget this is instance parameter. So we want to transfer our parameter to the uh, another family. So about that one it will be L and will be also instance. Let's do like this. And here we are. We finish first our family. So let's save it because uh, we will create today like three families. Oh, I will save this family and I will call it like profile. Let's call it A like adaptive profile. And let's do the rectangular. Maybe we want to create the curve one. So and let's say OK. Done. Uh, let's go to the new one and let's create the new uh, family and we will create today again adaptive family. So we're going to choose again generic model adaptive family. Let's open up and now I will create another uh, dot reference dot somewhere here. Again I will select this dot and I'll change to make adaptive. Okay nice. Let's go back to the our previous family and let's load our family to new one. And as you see now uh, I selected the my profile and the Revit asking us uh, to connect the middle of this, I mean the point of this uh, family to somewhere. So I will connect point by point like this. Why I did that? If I will choose this point, now I'm able, as you see, control the my previous family. So let's go back. And now we need to transfer our parameter to this uh, project. So let's select our profile. And as you see, we have here dimension and let's change it. Like this is L, again L, instance parameter. And same thing here, W instance parameter. Okay, nice. So what I'm gonna do now, just select everything um, let's say we win 110 and let's copy it. 
don't forget multiply and constraint like oh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 okay so done for now let's go to the uh, file and we will save it too and we will call it adaptive profile oh, no it's not already profile adaptive um, mass profile again r rectangular okay so uh now we will go to the uh project let's create the new project and now it will be the most interesting part i think let's go inside uh, we have our blank project so what i'm gonna do now now i will create some grids only to understand where is my project i mean where is my the lines okay so this is middle of our project now and i will use now reference planes so let's choose the one reference plane and i will i will place it exactly on the middle of that one so why i did that because i want to control it now i will use the array and i will do like uh, each uh, one and a half meter like this and i will make like five here okay now I will delete this line. Uh, no, I will I will leave this line because it's just select everything and ungroup. I will select all of that one. I will use the mirror. So now I should have like nine. Okay, uh, but I need ten. Let's leave it nine for now. It will be okay. So uh, what the next? Next we should go to this view to look it on this side but before we will do that i will give the name to my reference plane for example this one that one two and on and on just do that what i'm doing like this five seven eight nine okay nice uh now uh what gonna do just select this um this section right click and go to elevation view okay awesome i will change to the 120 and now uh we should create the mess let's create the mess show mess mess in place okay and now i need to choose the my working plane let's choose the my working plane and as you understand i will choose reference plane one reference plane one and okay so let's create some uh but you know, uh, let's choose the spline. Uh, if you are using the line, it's okay. You can use the line. But if you are using spline, we can get the more more nice shape. Oh, I did the wrong. Bit before you starting to draw, you should choose your the reference plane. So let's choose the reference plane one, and draw whatever you want. Maybe like this. Maybe like this. Okay. After that, again, uh, select your the reference uh, uh, the spline and reference plane don't be careful with this dot if i will start from this dot uh, i will connect uh, my splines i will show you on 3d now what i mean and do some interesting shape let's say i'll do one more and i'll show you the uh, what's going on on 3d view like this like this like this two more dots like this okay so let's go to 3d and as you see now all our lines are standing on the different reference planes so i will continue to draw and i will back when i will finish I have to finish my project <laughs> I mean the lines let's go to 3d and we get something like this so let's select everything and just click on the create the form so we get this nice shape so what we're gonna do now uh, actually the everything easy we will select all the our shape like this and now I will divide to surface and we get something kind of nice surface as you see now uh, let's uh, do a, some preparation of that one. Uh, here I will, for example, do like 20 maybe. And we increase these lines. And here I will do the 9. 
Why I am doing here the 9? Because we have here the 9 points. As you remember, we did 9. Ah, we did 10 points. My wrong. So let's change it to the 10. So 10. Okay, like this. And everything kind of... It looks good. So what the next? Next, uh, under this... The, this the ribbon menu you can find the surface uh, representation just click here and you will find under surface the nodes let's make it active and as you see we get some nodes we need it uh, for our uh, for our this uh, the panel so what we're gonna do now i will do like this i will select all this panel and i will create the form and as you see for example, I am choosing the sum dot. I am able to change it and it's changed like the curve. Really cool, right? So let's load it up into the, our project. And we get something like this. Now just be careful and place like I'm doing. Just let's do like this. First line, second, and just on and on the click on the dots. We have the 10 dots and we have 10 dots here too. like this like this and one more like this i think we have here the 11. maybe let's say calculate one two three four ten here it looks like 11. something strange right Oh yes, we should make here 9, it's my wrong. Now everything okay. So, uh, you cannot see anything now, I'll change to the shaded one, and as you see, here is our column. We can change the our column, so I will do like 150 by 150, for example. That's why we transferred our parameters to change it here. We now able to change it here. So we did it, 100, 150 by 150. So what we I'm good, gonna do now? I'll just select the my column and I will just pick here array repeat. Now we should wait. Actually it was very fast and we get the shape like this. Really cool, right? We can create any profile and we can repeat it as we want. Even for example, we can do the some uh, interesting thing. Let's I'll show you. Now we will change a bit our profile. Let's go back to the, our profile. And here, for example, I want to change it and I will make like some additional things. you see we get the different profile so I did some uh, some strange thing but you can do any profile what you want we see, as you see I changed its profile and it looks okay so how to hide our mess you already know just uh, let's go to visibility graphics double VV and just switch off here the mess switch off mess okay and we need to switch over here done so here is our mm, model you can do whatever you want also you can use on our mess the two type of the profiles even you can change the type of the type of the network so let's go here and you can of course the change of the, your network so let's do the model in place now we're using the no pattern, but we can change, for example, to this one. Here, I will do the more, like 40 by 40. And I will say OK. So we can use this one also to place your profile. So I think that's it for today and I think it was helpful for you to create some new nice thing like the small architecture forms in your 
project. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and see you soon. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.